Um, for me personally, it's good to be here. I just wanted to execute a good race. I did pretty excellent tonight. I'm not going to say good because good is an understatement. I did pretty excellent tonight. And well, Sharika Jackson was indeed excellent at the World Championships in Budapest. In fact, it is so excellent, it is almost bordering on insane. When she said, once I execute a good race, anything is possible, Jackson wasn't playing around. Mind you, she said this mere days before the Worlds, and she made sure she followed through on her words. What's more, and it's just a great feeling just to be standing here and just to be a gold medalist, a national record, a championship record, I can't complain, definitely. Second fastest time in history again, so I'm definitely happy and I'm super grateful. Yeah, you heard her. Now you know why I went as far as to say what Sharika Jackson just did in Budapest is insane. In a thrilling showcase of speed and determination, defending champion Sharika Jackson from Jamaica solidified her status as a sprinting powerhouse by dominating the women's 200-meter final at the World Athletics Championships held in Budapest. Jackson's remarkable performance not only secured her the gold medal, but also shattered her own championship record setting a new benchmark for future contenders. Jackson's explosive run down the track left spectators in awe as she clocked an impressive time of 21.41 seconds, showcasing her exceptional prowess and claiming her place among the pantheon of legendary sprinters. The Jamaican's victory was a testament to her relentless training, dedication, and sheer will to succeed on the world stage. I wrote a time that I want to achieve, and if the world record comes, it comes. I'm not going to tell you that I want to break the world record every time I step on the track. I'm in pretty good shape. Once I execute a good race, anything is possible," Jackson said before the race. However, when she asked about the time she has set for herself at this year's Worlds, Jackson simply said, I definitely won't tell you, but after I've finished competing, I'll definitely post it. Then in Budapest, Sharika Jackson retained her women's 200-meter title in style. In fact, she was the picture of relaxation as she was introduced last and made her entrance onto the track. She even had a stroll back from the bend to the starting blocks, making her rivals wait before the on-track introductions. The Jamaican track superstar had a good start from lane 6, then was quickly up on the shoulder of St. Lucia's Julian Alfred, and she powered past Thomas and Richardson outside her on the bend with the crowd almost spellbound as they watched the most emphatic of title defenses. Well, she was already ahead at the bend and eased clear as the field entered the home straight, clocking 21.41 to break her own championship record from 12 months ago. Jackson's emotions after her victory were somewhat hard to decipher, and she told Eurosport afterwards, The thing is, I wrote down 21.41 as the slowest time I was going to run today. Sometimes people misinterpret my facial expressions, but I think I did pretty good tonight, and I'm grateful just to be here. I'm definitely not disappointed. To run a personal best, I'm definitely grateful. Jackson's reaction after the race was indeed something mind-boggling for the spectators, as she did not celebrate the Jamaican way, as her facial expression and body language invited more questions and interpretations. Later at the press conference, the new proud owner of the second fastest 200 meter time in history fielded several questions and provided insight into her reaction. Honestly, when I crossed the line and saw the time, I said, ah, oh, I'm close, I'm close. I wrote down two times on my bib today. The slowest I wrote was 21.40, and I got 21.41. I just wanted to see the race before I celebrated because I didn't know if it was wind legal. She explained. For me, I just wanted to see the race, you know. Every time I finish, I just want to see the race before I celebrate. I never knew if it was me because I don't want to be celebrated and it's not legal. So I just wanted to look up on the side I She then added, I was super exhausted. I wasn't feeling 100% as I was under the weather. So it's not a disappointing look that I didn't get the world record. Likewise, the entire world watching the 200 meter race took a collective gasp when Sharika Jackson finally won her first individual global title in Oregon last year with her scorching 21.45.
Sharika, who had made the third step of the World Championship's 400-meter podium in Doha in 2019, had rocketed her way to the number two spot on the world all-time 200-meter list, behind the late Florence Griffiths Joyner's long-deemed untouchable 21.34 from the Seoul 1988 Olympic Games. The impact was evident on her closest rival's face, as runner-up Gabby Thomas crossed the line a whopping .40 seconds behind, her mouth agape in wonder before embracing Jackson and looking up at the giant screen to see the time. By the end of the race, Thomas finished second in 21.81, and her teammate Shakari Richardson, who just took the gold in the 100-meter days ago, took bronze in a personal best of 21.92. The screen and the trackside clock showed 21.41, the second fastest 200-meter run in history, breaking the championship record Jackson set in Oregon, where she won by .36 from Fraser Price, a seven-time global champion at 100 meters. Yesterday in the semifinals, I ran the curve a little bit conservatively, said Jackson, but I think I did pretty good tonight. I ran a good race, 21.41 is a time I cannot complain about. It feels good that even though I used to run 400 meter, I can still do a very good 100 and 200 meter. I feel like I'm a living testimony that you can create something if you really want it and never give up. Indeed, she's getting closer, closer than anyone ever had to Flo Joe's 35-year-old world record. Still, that wasn't what was at the forefront of Sharika's mind when she ran her remarkable time of 21.41. Even if I was pretty close to the world record, it was not the thing on my mind when I ran," she shared. I will continue to work and I hope I can maintain at least this level and we will see if the world record will come. Jackson also revealed that her 200-meter victory at last month's Monaco Diamond League had reignited her desire for the half-lap event. I'd lost a little love for the 200, maybe because I was so focused on the 100 early on in the season. I think when I watched the race in Monaco, I realized that I got back what I was missing and I think I did pretty good in Monaco. Speaking later in the post-race press conference in Budapest, Jackson revealed she was not mulling over missing out on 100-meter gold to Richardson. It feels good to be the back-to-back -back champion, said Jackson. She further shared that after losing the gold to America's Shakari Richardson in the 100 meter, she and her coach talked and was told that the 100 is already gone, so it's time to focus on the 200. The 200 is my baby, Jackson said. I just wanted to come out here and execute my own race. I think I did pretty good tonight. Without question, Sharika Jackson really did. As the dust settled on the women's 200-meter final, it was clear that Sharika Jackson's dominance was the defining narrative of the event. Her record-breaking run not only etched her name in the history books, but also served as an inspiration to aspiring athletes worldwide. Overall, Sharika Jackson went home with two medals from the World Championships, a silver in the 100-meter and a gold in the 200-meter. And she is more than happy about it. Watch this to see how, like Jackson, Noah Lyles ran insanely in Budapest.